Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Did you know there was a karate master so powerful it seemed like he came straight out of a comic book? I'm talking of course about Matsumura Sokom. They call him Bushi. Now, this is a very important title that literally means warrior. It was actually more than just a title. When the title Bushi was bestowed upon you, it meant you truly embodied the martial arts. You weren't just a Bushi, you were the Bushi. Now, don't confuse Bushi Matsumura Sokon with Bushi Matsumura Kosaku. These are two different karate masters. Now Matsumura was the bodyguard of several kings of the Ryukyu Islands. So you could say he was a very skilled fighter. And everyone on the island knew of this powerful man. He lived in the, the 19th century and he was one of the teachers of the infamous karate masters such as Ito Suanko, Funakoshi Gichi, Motobu Choki and Mabuni Kenwa. Today's story is about a fight between Matsumura and the king's most dangerous bull. Now there are several different versions of this story, and the version I'm about to tell you is based on the one told by Richard Kim, who was one of Hanshi Patrick McCarthy's teachers. King Shoko of Ryukyu was a king who liked to increase taxes. Now you can imagine the people of Okinawa wouldn't like these tax increases, so in order to keep his people under control, the king held an annual festival that combined martial arts with bullfighting. These festivals were hugely successful, and they were among the most important events of the Okinawan year. You could compare these festivals with uh, ancient Roman games like those held in the Colosseum, as they were also held as a distraction for the people. One year, the king received a magnificent bow from the Emperor of Japan. He got the idea to pit this monster against his greatest warrior, martial arts master Matsumura. When he announced this, the whole island got excited. Their greatest champion would have to fight a Japanese uh, kaiju. Matsumura, on the other hand, was less enthusiastic. So he decided to pay the stables a visit. When the bull handler saw the warrior approaching, he was dumbstruck. The greatest warrior of Okinawa was standing in front of him. Matsumura asked, Can I take a look at the bull? And the handler, oh, of course, sir, no problem. Matsumura said, Make sure the bull is completely tied up and do not tell anyone that I'm here. The handler didn't dare to refuse this. So when the bull was tightly strapped, Matsumura started to approach the beast. We now jump ahead a few weeks to the day of the festival. On the day of the festival, people from over the entire island arrived to watch the most anticipated fight between the warrior and the beast. Everyone was excited and nobody was thinking about the recent tax increases because they were going to see the greatest show on earth. The clash between the great Matsumura and the king's magnificent Japanese bull. As the bull entered the arena, the crowd held its breath. It truly was a gigantic animal, and even the king doubted if Matsumura could defeat such a creature. The bull scraped the ground and snorted ferociously as the cheers rose from the public, because their hero Matsumura entered the arena from the opposite end in full battle gear. The man calmly walked on the sand and approached the bull with seemingly fearless. The public watched in complete silence where on the edge of their seats to see what was going to happen next. As the bull saw the tiny warrior approaching, his eyes flashed red as he started to prepare his attack. And then he smelled Matsumura. At the time, the bull gave a bellow of fear, turned around and ran out of the arena. 
The people let out a deafening roar. None had ever seen such a display of intimidation. Even the king could not explain how Matsumura could make the bull run away with such fear without even touching it. When the king recovered from his surprise, he addressed the audience. By royal edicts, Matsumura Sokom will now be named Bushi, in recognition of his unusual martial arts skills. From that moment on, Matsumura was known as Bushi Matsumura. But how did he do it? Well, when we left Matsumura, he was in the stable with the bull strongly strapped down. He then proceeded to take a very long needle out from his sleeve. He then plunged it deeply into the nose of the bull. The reaction was tremendously loud. The bull roared deafeningly with pain and tried to attack his torturer. Matsumura was very pleased with the results and he repeated the process every day until the bull learned to recognize and fear him. Wait, of course I'm not a fan of cruelty to animals, but this took place in a different time and the story is a clear example of brains over brawn. What do you think? Do you like this story? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you had to solve a problem where using brute force didn't work? Put a comment in the comment section below. Also, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.